Praise the Lord. How many's glad to be in the house of God tonight? Amen. Amen. I can't expect a lot of these things. Amen. I can't speak to you out here early praying at the church. Amen. Hallelujah. Have a prayer around the altar. Amen. We're ready to have church. Amen. Amen. I'm ready to see somebody get touched, somebody get blessed tonight. Amen. Amen. I'm ready to see somebody get revived. Amen. Amen. And if the preacher gets on your toes, you say, oh, in and out. You go, oh, amen. Hallelujah. Let's all stand all over the house. Let's ask God to have his way in this service. Bless you, Heavenly Father, Lord God, as we come to you once again, we want to thank you, God, for another opportunity, God, to be back in your house. And God, to be able to give you praise tonight, Lord, and to give you honor tonight, God, where honor's due. Heavenly Father, God, we just ask God once again, Lord, let your Holy Ghost fall upon this place. Let the anointing of God fall, Lord. Heavenly Father, baby, I'm also here tonight, save them. It may be a backslider, bring them back to you tonight. Lord, it may be someone that needs sanctified, sanctified. Heavenly Father God, we just ask that you move tonight. A blessing to service. Bless Brother Randall tonight. And Sister Tasha, God. Heavenly Father God, we just give you praise. We give you glory. We give you honor tonight, God. You're worthy to be praised. You're worthy to be lifted up. And Lord God, you said if we lift you up, you will draw men unto you. And Lord, we want to lift you up tonight and give you the praise. So I give you the glory. Heavenly Father God, we ask God right now, God, you be with the Bower family, Lord. Lord, as they lost their loved one today. Heavenly Father God, we pray you comfort them. Lord, the woman down in Mississippi. Heavenly Father, they lost a little boy that got run over by a vehicle. I pray you be with that family. Lord, the woman in Boonesville, Mississippi. The doctor says she's got bone cancer. God, but we don't claim that. We claim deliverance. We speak life unto that body right now. God, in your such thing, we praise you for it. And we thank you, God. We give you all praise. And all glory to church say amen. amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Sister Connie, Sister Lisa, y'all come on up here and help Sister Lord. Hallelujah. Page 19, come and dine. Jesus has a table
when the road was called up yonder. When the trumpet of the Lord just sounded down shall be no more.
to praise the Lord. Amen. I came to get in tonight. Amen. I put on the internet, I said, come to a Holy Ghost and fire revival. Amen. You get what you put into it. Amen. You'll get what you put into it. Amen. If you don't put nothing in, you ain't going to get nothing. Amen. I preached last night on polluting the house of God. Amen. Polluting the sanctuary. Amen. I said, God, I can't do that. He said, yes, you will. Amen. And I had to bring it forth. I didn't think nobody show up now, but they did. Amen. Hallelujah. I appreciate the Lord. I want to welcome everybody to He's Alive Community Church. Amen. Glad to have you. Amen. Uh, we just come to worship God tonight. Amen. Amen. We came to have church. Amen. That's the only way I know to do it. Amen. Feel that spider real quick. So don't <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. I appreciate the Lord tonight. Amen. I love Him with all my heart. Amen. I, 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 just seemed like yesterday when I went home and the Lord said, get your Bible, son. And I got my Bible and he began to show me some things. And I, he said, go to Malachi. I said, oh, Lord, I can't preach on that. I said, if I do, they're going to throw it. I said, now I got a pair. I said, we're going to go to Malachi. But I seen the looks on their faces. They ain't going to preach on tithing now. No, I said, I'm preaching on Malachi chapter 2. Amen. Where they come into the house of the Lord want to pollute the house of God. Amen. And, and we can't do that anymore. Amen. I'm telling you. I said, Lord, I can't preach that. Brother Randall, I talked to him. I said, I can't do that. He said, I said you better do it. Amen. I kept on reading. I kept on reading. Amen. He took me over there to where he told Moses to tell Aaron how it was going to be in the sanctuary. Amen. No markings, no cutting on your bodies. Amen. No piercings, no holes. Amen. See, they did there for a while. Amen. They done things that they shouldn't have done. Amen. So God made an ordinance that He wanted to go by. Amen. And I said, Oh Lord. I said, I said, Lord, I can't do it. Brother Randall all of a sudden I felt something just like smacking me on the face. He said, I said, do it. I said, okay, Lord, you give them to me, I'll do it. Amen. So I brought the word forth last night, and I tell you what, it was strong. It was strong. If I'd have been in front of the president, I'd have preached it right in front of him. If I'd have been in front of Nancy Pelosi, I'd have preached it right in front of her. Amen. Because the United States of America has got polluted. Amen. I, I'm, tell you, I'm on fire tonight for the Lord. Amen. When I came out here, I began to pray. I began to walk the floors and say, God, I want to see a removal of God. I want to see a revival. The ones that came in, they got down and started praying. Amen. Because we want to see something happen. Amen. I want to see some chains broke. I want to see some things put back together that Satan's trying to destroy. Amen. I want to see people healed. I want to see the captives set free. Amen. Most of all, I want to see the soul saved. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. We're going to go to the Lord in prayer tonight. Amen. If you've got a prayer request, let it be known unto the Lord. Oh, they took that thing off of it. Speak life. Yes. Yes. Speak life to it. Don't say they said he had. You say he ain't got it. Try it. Try it. See, well, that's where people go wrong. They say, well, he's got it. Or they say he's got it. No, say God said he didn't have it. Amen. Amen. When you say God said you ain't got it, you ain't got it. Amen. The Bible says there's life and death in the tail. Right? Hallelujah. Power. Life and death in the tongue. He says, speak life unto those things. Amen. I'll tell you, I told that woman on the, on the internet. Amen. That doctor said she has lung cancer. She don't have lung cancer. God's got the last say, amen. The doctors can tell you you're going to die tomorrow, but that don't mean you're going to die. That's right. Amen. But I want you to pray for the Ballard family. 
Amen. They just lost a loved one, 25 years old. So see, it don't matter how old you are, you can leave this world quick. Amen. Young man in Mississippi got run over by a car, 12 years old. Gone. Pray for that family. Amen. Got a lady there in Boonesville, Mississippi. She asked if we would pray. The doctor said, but we say she don't have it, Brother Red. Right, right. And she had lung cancer. We don't claim that. I told her we ain't claiming that. She's in a prayer box. Amen. I know a God that heals cancer. He said in the last days, amen, he was going to pour out a rain. Amen. That latter rain's fixing to fall, Brother Randall. We're going to see cancer fall off of people as they walk across the floor. Amen. We're going to see the open. We're going to see the to him. The to Amen. We can even see the dead rain. And it ain't going to be like the Zulu Street Revival. It's going to be better. It's going to be better. Amen. I mean, it's going to be better. It's going to be better. Amen. I'm excited. Amen. Anybody else got a prayer request? Yes. Amen. Somebody else. Somebody else? Yes, amen. We know what the outcome's going to be before we get there. Amen. Same thing he said the last six months. Amen. Everything was good. Hallelujah. Because I know God healed her. Amen. amen. Hallelujah. That main problem, God's going to take care of that too. Amen. amen. Hallelujah. The Bible said pray for your wives. Amen. I pray for her. I say, God, you touch her, you take that pain away, you take that lady, you heal it. Amen. I'll be laying over her. Amen. I'll just say, Lord, touch her right now. Amen. You say, well, Brother Miller, you believe God's going to do it? Yeah, I believe God's going to do it. Amen. I believe it. Amen. I stand on that word. I don't, I don't, I know that word don't lie. When it says he's going to do it, he's going to do it. When it says he's coming back, he's coming back. Amen. Somebody else tonight. Yes, amen. Somebody else? Yes, somebody else? Yes, yes. My daughter's father in is in the hospital in Bowling Green. Remember him, amen. Somebody else? Amen. We got several, several people all over. Amen. Lot from Mississippi. Amen. Boonesville. Severeville. Uh, where? Untail. Corinth. Tupelo. All over. Amen. Hallelujah. Somebody else. I don't want to leave out Arizona. Amen. We got several in Arizona. I got some from Brazil today. I got some from uh, Australia. Amen. It's been watching. Amen. We had a brother come here last night. Been watching the live stream. Amen. 
I was hoping he got to make it tonight. He's got one of those scooters, amen. And we told him we'd clear out a place for him to put that scooter in here. So remember him, Brother Rick Smith, amen. Remember him. Somebody else. Yeah, Brother Tony from New Jersey. Remember him. Somebody else. Yes, amen. My son in law, amen. Pray that they come to this revival this week. Amen. One night of this revival. I want to see them get back and right with the Lord. Amen. I want to see them back right with the Lord. Amen. Because it don't matter how old you are, you can leave this world. Even my kids can leave this world. Amen. I want to see them saved. Somebody else. Yes, amen. Somebody else. slow tonight also. Amen. She's still in pain in her, in her neck when she had that surgery. Amen. So remember her. So, yeah, I'll pray for the revival that's coming up uh, the 25th. Amen. They start revival in fall, fall harvest the 25th. They got some good preachers lined up. Amen. So pray for that. Amen. Somebody else. Yes. Amen. Also, uh, Brother Danny Patrick starts a revival tonight on Columbia Avenue. Amen. At Westland Church. So remember that revival. Somebody else. Unspoken request by the raising of your hands. You can pray at your seat or pray at the altar. Amen.
Hallelujah. I'm going to ask Brother Michael if he will come up tonight and take up our offering tonight. Our offering goes to our evangelist and his family. Amen. To help him prolong their ministry. Amen. To go down the road. Amen. Somewhere else. Amen. So give as God has blessed you with and God will bless you back. I'm telling you. Amen. Hallelujah. Brother. Red, what you put off?
gonna take some root.
how many is glad he came looking for me. I feel my help. Hallelujah. I feel a fire burning. 
Hallelujah. Somebody been doing some prayer around here. I feel the Holy Ghost. We ask some more. Hallelujah. Is it all right if we just lift him up a little bit? Come on, lift up that voice. We begin to call on Jesus. I didn't come to pray. 
conference room and gloom. But I come out to somebody's soul. Holy Ghost said, this might be your last chance tonight. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. your Bibles, amen, we go to Matthew uh, chapter 13. God, I thank you for your presence. Starting verse 1. Mm, Jesus. Hallelujah. I come to tell you tonight, God give me a message, so don't let the devil farm your land. Uh, hallelujah. We got any country folk in here? Got any farmers in here? I come to tell you, don't let the devil farm what you have. What God give you tonight. I'll go I look to the word farming. I know everybody ought to know what it means. But it's the active process of a working of the ground. Planting seeds and watching your works grow. Anybody got any works that you're watching grow tonight? Anybody planting some good seed? Oh, Jesus. Oh, in Matthew 13, verse 1. Oh, Jesus. It says, the same day went Jesus out of the house and sat by the seaside, and the great multitudes were gathered together unto him, so that he went into a ship and sat, and the whole multitude stood on the shore. Verse 3, and he spoke, and he spent many things unto them in parables, saying, Behold, a sower went forth to sow. Oh, verse 4, and when he sowed, some seeds fell by the wayside, and the fowls came and devoured them up. Anybody feel like the devil come to, to devour your works tonight? Hallelujah. But all it goes on to say, some fell upon stony places where they had not much earth, and forthwith they sprung up because they had no deepness of earth. That tells me, true. we got to get back to the old-fashioned way. we got to get rooted and grounded in his word. Where there's water, where there's living water, where there's life. Don't let it to be devoured by the enemy tonight. He goes on to say, and when the sun was up, they were scorched because they had no root. They withered away. Don't let your words wither away. Hallelujah. And some fell among thorns. Oh, Jesus. And the thorns sprung up and choked them. 
Everybody feel like the enemy is trying to choke the life out of you. But I come to tell you uh, the God we serve. Uh, hallelujah. If we planted his good ground. Uh, when the roots begin to take hold. Uh, how Jesus. Uh, and it said but others fell uh, unto the good ground. Look at your neighbor and say good ground. Good ground. Oh Jesus. And it said and brought forth fruit. Uh, some a hundredfold, some sixtyfold, and some thirtyfold. Verse 9, who hath ears to hear, let him hear. Oh God, anybody willing to hear what God has to say? Hallelujah, I come to tell you, don't let the devil steal what he give you. Oh Jesus, hallelujah, how many know when it comes to farming? Hallelujah, the first step is preparing the grounds, Pastor. Just plant a seed with no work and expect it to, something to grow. You got to make some preparation tonight. Oh, Lord. I'm not no farmer by no means, so if I miss some steps, excuse me. This is how God said. He said, first, you got to know the right time of the year to plant. Oh, see, so you got two minutes. I want to do a quick word and uh, jump right in this thing uh, and then they're over their head and don't know what to do. Uh, it takes some preparation. Uh, it takes some work. See what you saw. Oh, God, it said you got to know the right time of the year. Uh, and it said normally springtime uh, is the best time because the ground is still moist. Uh, oh, God. Uh, so it makes it easier for you to break up the ground. Oh, Lord. Uh, See, some of you hard hit a church, oh, they like to work too hard. Oh, Jesus. Oh, uh, then you got to clear the area of any debris and weed. Oh, uh, that tell me, you got anything in your life that's not like Jesus, you got to weed it out. Oh, you got to weed it out. Then it said next, you got to till and level the land. Oh, God, to loosen the soil so the water and oxygen can get to your seeds and your roots. I mean, no, without water and air, the roots won't grow. Oh, God, without this living water and word, your works won't grow. Oh, Jesus. Oh, just bear with it. It said, then you got to fertilize. Oh, Lord. And turn the soil for a couple of days. You mean we got to work a little bit? But you better believe it. Hallelujah. You got to put some work in this thing. You want to be blessed. But you got to sow something in. Wow, Jesus. Hallelujah. You got to fertilize and turn the ground. Hallelujah. Then it says, now you're ready to plant. Oh, Jesus. But said, then you want to once or twice daily. Yeah. So your soul doesn't dry up. Yeah. That's where the church folk doesn't sit on the pew too long. And it dried up. Yeah. Oh, Lord. I hope you don't get mad at me. Hallelujah. This ain't just for he's alive. This is for everybody. Yeah. Don't dry up. Right. Hallelujah. Get into the good crowd. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. I'm still preaching. Don't let the devil farm your land. You better take a hold of what God did you. Yeah. Yeah. Then it said that till you do that. You got to monitor your God and keep it clean from weeds. There's something else you got to worry about after you begin to weed out. And it said varmints. Anybody know what a varmint is? A vomit is a little thief that come in yeah. and try to steal what you got. Yeah. Oh, brother. You got some. Don't let the vomit come in tonight. You got to stand God and God what you heard. God what you saw. Oh, Lord, I'm going say. Shoot you. Hallelujah. I'm still preaching. Don't let the devil find your land tonight. Hallelujah. How many know whatever you plant? That's what you got to produce. Oh, oh, gee. Can I give you an example? See, some folk want to plant uh, an orange seed uh, and they want to produce an apple tree. Oh, I mean, it don't work like that. You put an apple seed, you're going to get an apple tree. Who like you? If you so sin tonight, uh, you want to real sin. If you so good works, you don't need the work. Oh, Jesus. You got to stand guard tonight. Oh, God. Too many church folks are letting the devil farm 
strike. Yeah. You got to guard it. Over in Matthew 13, verse 18. Oh, God's. The Lord began to tell another parable. Over in Matthew 13, starting at 18. And it said, Hear ye. Therefore, in the parable of the sower. And 19, when anyone heareth the word of the kingdom and understandeth it not, then cometh the wicked one and catcheth away that which was sown in the heart. This is he which receives seed by the wayside. Oh, verse 20, but he that receiveth the seed into stony places. The same is he that heareth the, the word and unknown which joy receiveth. And 21, yet he hath, yet hath he not root in himself, but doeth for a while. Oh, see, that means uh, you might be thinking you're doing what you're supposed to be doing, but you're not rooted enough. You don't let the enemy steal what you have. Oh, God, he goes on to say, Hallelujah, for when tribulation or persecution arises because of the word, by and by he is offended. In verse 22, he also that receives seed among the thorns is he that heareth the word and the care of this world and the deceitfulness of riches choke the word. My God, that sounds like so many big mega churches. Oh, they done so, so, they done so, hallelujah, on a prosperity. Oh, God, in your wallet, in your pocketbook. That's why they ain't seeing the words go Oh, my God, they worry about the members for a while and the money that comes with it. Oh, compromise for this world. Uh, and he becometh unfruitful. Yep. Yeah. Oh, gee. In verse 23, but he that receives seed in the good ground yeah. is he that heareth the word. Right. Oh, glory. And understandeth it. How do you know? You can hear it but not understand. Hallelujah. That's where it comes with praying and fasting and seeking. God will reveal himself to you if you're allowing to. I told you this thing takes work. Oh, so you hear the word and understand it, which also beareth fruit and bringeth forth some a hundredfold. Oh, Jesus. Uh, some sixty and some thirty. How many ready to reap what you planted? Oh, God, anybody planted some good seeds tonight? Hallelujah. Don't let the devil get in what you have. Hallelujah. You got to run the garments away tonight. I come to tell you, he ain't nothing but a vomit seeking out what he can get from it. Oh, God. Hallelujah. I never saw them old, uh, stories of old vomit. They begin to have an old watchdog. Hallelujah. They run them vomits out. Honey, I come to tell you, you better get a hold of your Holy Ghost watchdog. Hallelujah. Run the vomit off of your land. And see, some folk have yeah. to step on somebody. Hello. Hello. Some yeah. folk reason why you ain't getting the benefits of your own harvest. Hello. Because you're too worried about it over in your neighbor's field. Yeah. 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 See, uh, hallelujah. In order to get your harvest, you got to get out of your neighbor's field. Oh, Jesus. You can't allow the enemy to creep in and steal what you have. Or in Galatians chapter 6. Oh, Jesus. Galatians chapter 6. Oh, Jesus. 
Starting at verse 7. He begins to read, Be not deceived. God is not mocked. Too many preacher folk done got bigger than God. They begin to mock it. Saying, look what I did. Look what I got. But under the word said they're going to choke on their own word. They're going to lose everything they got. Because they lost the vision of the true gospel. My God, I believe it's coming back to the old time. God's going to start striking these four brothers dead. Honey, everything that gets behind this pulpit ain't of God. Lord Jesus, I count it an honor and privilege. This is a sacred place. There's no unclean spirit supposed to be behind God. Now you've got homosexual pastors, homosexual soul leaders. Oh God, the pastor's wild playing music out there, committing adultery with somebody. You better get back on your own land. You better, you better get back on your own land. And when you get over there, you better run the farm and off of your own. And sometimes they tend to follow you. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Hallelujah. I come to tell you, the devil knows your weakness tonight. He knows what you watch on your phone. He knows what you watch on your TV when you're by yourself. He knows what text message you send in your name of God. Oh God. Hallelujah. I didn't want to preach you yourself. I'm like God David. But when the Holy Ghost said speak, you better speak. You better run that comment off. Oh God. Let me Jesus. Be not the sin. God is not mocked. Sure, God. For whatsoever a man sow, yep. that shall he also reap. Yep. Oh, Lord, you, <laughs> you sow good works. I mean, they know you're going to reap some blessing. But if you begin to sow a lie on your neighbor, <laughs> or sow this and that, <laughs> all negative about somebody, I'm mean, going to know what you're going to reap. Uh, with some bad words. Yeah. You better run the vomit off. Yeah. You better get the devil off your way and you better take back the joy. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Uh, verse 8. Uh, For he that soweth to his flesh. Yeah. Mm, there's a lot of that going. Yeah. Shall of the flesh yeah. reap corruption. So that stinking preacher that thinks he's bigger than God, uh, yeah. he's going to reap corruption. Yeah. Oh, God, help me. Oh, Jesus, I don't mean to preach like this, but this is what he said. Oh, but he that saw it to the Spirit, yeah. shout of the Spirit, yeah. reap what? Yeah. Life everlasting. Yeah. That ought to be enough to make every one of us shout in this way. Tonight. Come on, sister. No. 
Hallelujah. Come on. Come on, reach out a few minutes. I'm about to hush. Hallelujah. The devil been messing around you too long. But we here. God's here to run him off for you. Hallelujah. The altars are open tonight. You may not be exactly where you want to be with God. But I come to tell you, he can deliver you out. He can set you up. He can turn you around.
like the warning went out a while ago. Amen. The warning went out. You got to heed to that.
Hallelujah. We appreciate you. We love you. Until tomorrow night, may God be with you as our prayer. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus.